Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Chef Marie, today I'll be doing my June TBR. So before I get started, if you are new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as hit the notification bell. But I'm super excited to dive into the books that I'll be reading for this month. And since it is Pride Month, I wanted to be able to pick books that identify as such while also fulfilling prompts from my TBR jar. But before I jump into picking up the prompts for this month, I'll be reading the book club pick and that is Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. All I know is that this is a retelling of Princess Ariadne and just what happens to her. Um, I'm super excited. I really, really love my mythology retellings, inspired by, etc. So I definitely cannot wait to read this and I'm so happy that they picked up this book because I'm honestly so excited. Plus I've heard of so many good things about this book in terms of like the feminism and like how powerful it is. So definitely cannot wait to read this one soon. All right, now moving on to my actual TBR jar here. Let's pick the first prompt. And that is a bookshelf generator. So for this one, it means that I'll be picking up two numbers, one for the number of shelves that I have, and the other one for the number of books that I have. And then from there, I'll find out which book I'll be reading for this month. Okay, so for this one, I have my phone over here, and I'll be doing one through 39, which is the number of shelves that I have. Let's see what I get. I get shelf number four. But one thing I would say is that because this is a random bookshelf generator, I can't obviously really pick a book that is LGBT plus um, because I don't really know what book I'll be picking, but let's see. So I think there's probably like 30, 25 books in there. So one to 25, let's see. Book number 10 and let me go find book number 10 and I will be right back. All right, so the book that I got from my bookshelf generator is Agnes at the End of the World by Kelly McWilliams. This is a book about cults. Uh, it says that it is a genre defined novel about a girl escaping a cult as the world ends around her. I don't believe this is LGBTQ+, but I kind of suspect that anyways. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about this book. I'm actually kind of excited because I had not read a good cult book in a while. So we'll see how this one goes. Then for prompt number two, let's see what we have here. Um, 2022 new release. Okay, I have a ton of books that obviously fulfilled this. So I'll be right back after I pick up a book. For my 2022 new release, I am going to go with She Gets the Girl by Rachel Lippincott and Allison Derrick. This book just came out in April 2022 and it follows four girls where they have one semester to fall in love. So I'm super excited to see where this book takes me. Um, it seems to follow like, specifically two girls. One is Alex Blackwood, who is a flirt and knows how to get the girl, but not sure about keeping the girl. And the other one is Molly Parker, where everything, she has her life, everything in control, except for her complete awkwardness with just about anyone. And she's in love with this impossibly cool Cora Myers, but she hasn't even talked to her yet. So I'm curious for sure, um, but this book sounds super freaking adorable and definitely can't wait to read this this month. Then for prompt number three, Honestly, I feel like this is the last um, like prompts I have in here because I do them like every six months. So I'm pretty sure I'm just have to go through like all the ones in here and then I'm done and I have to find new prompts for the next six months of the year. So anyways, next prompt over here will be manga. Oh, okay. I definitely need to continue on with the manga series. I am going to be reading Bleach Volume 2. I will basically be continuing on with the manga series because I read Volume 1, I think a few months ago, and have not picked up any since then. So I'm going to try to focus this month a little bit on the manga and try to continue on with the manga series I'll be reading. I know this is not LGBTQ+, but this is the manga series I am reading for this year. So I might as well utilize this prompt to further my reading for this entire series. Prompt number four, let's see. Oh fuck, okay, over 700 pages. This will be, it's not hard to find a book, but it's hard for me to get into reading sometimes. Okay, well, this is the next prompt. Let me find a book and I'll be right back. Okay, this prompt was so much harder than I expected. I thought I had a lot of giant books on my shelves and I do, but for some reason, they are not over 700 pages. I literally have three books that are over that. Well, four books, I guess, technically. And they are my Baron Sanderson books. 
they're over a thousand pages as well as i believe i didn't actually check this um uh, my recent outlander book that i just that just came out so i don't think any of those have lgbtq plus books um and i honestly can't even really read them well especially the brandon sanderson ones because i really don't want to start another series so i'm gonna go with the next one that is probably the closest to 750 pages i think it's about 740 pages and that is empire of the vampire by j kristoff i don't know if there's any lgbtq plus relationship in this book but i feel like this is probably there's likelihood to have one i'm not really sure but the reason why i thought i have so many more big books is because books such as this one over here which is a huge chunk which i assumed is over 750 pages which they're literally the same size um this is like 650 pages like most of my giant books are 650 pages and under so unfortunately i don't have a lot of books that are over 750 pages i just thought these giant books were all over that page mark um that is not the case but anyways i'm reading this book and since i only have such a few selections i'm not entirely sure if this is going to fulfill the lgbtq plus kind of prompt that i gave myself for this month but either way though i am going to read this book for this month and hopefully it'll be good i've heard mixed reviews and honestly jay kristoff has been mm, hit or miss author for me all right prompt number five and that is Asian protagonist. Okay, I definitely have a lot of books that will fulfill this, so I'll be right back. All right, then for my Asian protagonist prompt, I'm gonna go with The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nig Vo. This is about someone called Jordan Baker, who is queer and Asian. She is a Vietnamese adoptee, and she is treated as an exotic attraction by her peers during the 1920s American society. So she has some luxuries. Apparently she has money, education, um, invitations to some of the most exclusive parties of the jazz age, but because she's queer and Asian, you know, things don't always line up very well for her. So I'm very curious to see how this book goes. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews too, but I'm very curious. And the last and final prompt will be, let's see, Asian author. Okay, so these would have been really helpful for May, but that's cool. Um, so basically what this means is that I have had a book that is an Asian author while also LGBT+. So anyways, let me pick a book and I'll be right back. Then for this final prompt, which is for Asian author, I'll be reading Shatter the Sky by Rebecca Kem Wells. This is a also a queer book. Um, I want to say it's about dragons in here. And the author is Asian. I want to say she's like half asian or something i'm not entirely sure but it was under like a list of queer asian authors slash books list that i found online so you know there's that uh but it says that it follows a girl called marin who dreams of sharing a quiet life with her girlfriend kaya until one day kaya is abducted by the prophetic agents of the empire and is forced to join their ranks so now she ends up stealing one of the emperor's coveted dragons to storm the stronghold and basically save her girlfriend i'm excited for this book i've heard really great things in general so definitely can't wait to read this so anyways these are all the books that i'll be reading for this month plus my bleach volume 2 book hopefully there'll be more but i'm excited to dive into all these soon and hopefully it'll be a good reading month because honestly may has not been the very best but if you have read any of these books before let me know down in the comments below which book should i pick up first but as always if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up it really does help on my channel and if you see more content of me please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell and as always you can follow me on twitter instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye